All right, you are looking live at beautiful Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Hartford, Vermont. It is your Hazen Union Wildcats taking on the Montpelier Solens today. Teams have played earlier in the season. You want a hand? I'm good. You sure? Yeah. You know, if he's got another headset, <laughs> I'll always take a hand, Ivan. I'll come over. I'll bring a chair over. Do you want to come over at the um, inning change? Or just... oh, right. Go for it. Ivan. Ivan Menard going to be joining us here on uh, commentary here as Hollingsworth flies out. to lead things off. There's another hit, and I can, there we go. Out to left, Dan DeGrosley underneath it. I'm trying to get a number here, I've got a little bit of a mix up on my timing, on my score sheet. Turn please, number 15. I didn't see a 15, or was that a five? Was that Bay, was that, Bay that had that hit just barely? That was Nate Groff. Nate Groff. Okay, he's a, he's a, okay. Groff, DH, fly out. Jackson Mason up now for the Solens. Andrew Menard on the mound for the Wildcats today. Solid shots. It's going to be taken in by the shortstop. Three up and three down for Andrew Menard. As Mason flies out to end the inning. You're watching Hazen Union Wildcat Baseball on HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors today, the Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day, breakfast and takeout all day. Check out their daily specials. And the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnc.org, jumpstart your future. So Menard gets a nice first inning in there. And uh, the Solins go down 1, 2, 3. And Ivan Menard going to join me here on commentary. The father of our pitcher today, Andrew Menard, the mauler. Oh, you got me, Lance. All right. I got, I got you. <laughs> how you doing, Ivan? I'm um, excellent, Lance. How are you this I'm afternoon? I'm doing well. This is going to be a good game. I got I got Ivan on my right. I got the scorekeeper for the Montpelier on the left. You guys are going to make me sound brilliant today. Oh. I need any <laughs> backup. I'm covered. Because <laughs> believe me, I miss a lot. <laughs> I miss a lot out here. Well, it's a beautiful day to play ball. It is perfect day. The other the other home game, we were suffering from hypothermia. It was. It was cold that day. So. Um, and I believe these guys just had a game last night, I believe, and it was quite the, they quite put the, on well, quite the show. Well, you know what? We have a source here. Did you guys play last night? Yes. Who would you play against? Lamoille. At Lamoille or in Montpelier? How'd that game go? Yeah. You guys? Yeah. yeah. Nice. I'd heard it was too. quite a, That's there's a one right down the middle. Starting with Owen here. Owen scores that up. Yeah, this is uh, what a what a treasure this kid has turned out for us, Lance. You know, and he just he's just Mr. Baseball. You know, coming down. He was a Crassbury student, but I mean, all of these kids from Crassbury picking him up, and obviously the support group that comes with him is something else too. Yeah, they know how to play ball up there. Oh yeah. Score that's set. come on, just off the handle. That's all right. Yeah. I 
believe that was Mason at second making the play for Montpelier. Grayson McNaughton. Another up good next. pick up right here. This this kid's come a long ways as well. Another Crassberry player? Yep. Yep. Came on down. We had him for 18U Babe Ruth like the, the last summer when Robbie Montgomery and I coached. Okay. So there's a swing. Soren Bay Hansen, a junior from up here on the mound today. A little bit of a breaking ball there, Lance. That just didn't come down into the zone soon enough for him, I guess. You keep going over, and I am trying to keep up with stuff here. All right. You know me, I can just talk. You, you just keep talking. Pretty good at it. Yeah. I'd like to see Grayson get a little ribby here. He's He's been hitting pretty decent lately, if I remember right. He has. He has. Pitch just outside. Grayson with a good eye, laid off of it, didn't try to push it opposite field, but just a little low for him to try that. Fouled back off the batting cage, batting cage back here. Yeah. What a day. I had like 70 something degrees when I yeah. pulled in on my vehicle. You gotta love that. Fantastic. I even was so inspired by the nice day and the breeze today, Ivan. I went out and stacked up two quarter wood today. Well, there's always my house too when you're uh, when you're bored. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> what do we got for a count up there? Is that uh, three we, and two, we I see. It full, yeah. All right, so that's a, we're we're battling up there. Come on, Grayson, let's stay on top of it. And he's looking to get something going here in the first inning. Get a runner. One down. There's ball four. All right. McNaughton takes a walk. We went down and played. Montpelier a week ago, last week, and I think it was eight to ten zip. It was you yeah. Guys had it third, was, third game of the season, right? You you yeah. you beat Williamstown twice, then you went down there and lost ten zip to them. I think yeah. you guys they played like four games in the first week, didn't they? Like in the first five days, almost. I think. Oh, here we go. Andrew Menard up next. Takes one inside. What can you tell us about this player? I can tell you a lot about him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, takes one inside his last year, senior year. And, yeah. Um, I don't know whether, to, you know, it's going to be a big you know, look for another family to come right. and watch the games after this. Uh, uh, the thing of it is, Ivan, and I'm sure you're realizing now, the time just goes by so fast. It's crazy. You know, Joey and Cody are both, you know, Joey's been out of school, yeah. you know, four years. Cody's been out three. Yeah. It seems like yesterday they were, you know, out there as freshmen. There's a throw down to second. Get down, get down. Steal. Here's the air. All right. All right. Ignacio throw. gets in. Good speed by Grayson and a nice throw by the good effort on the catcher. Um, I, and I think that was another, well, I guess they gave him, I don't know if that was a ball or a strike, Lance. Trying to get all my, I got a lot of notes here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's so fast, but I, I mean, all of these yeah. guys, you know. Lucas Albert behind the plates uh, for Montpelier. Uh, that's going to be trouble. Come on, Lan uh, Andrew. Come on, Andrew. Get some wheels. Oh, my goodness. Got him. That's all right. But he moved uh, Grayson up to third. Yep. So with two yep. outs. Good job. Well, that's good contact. You know, it was exactly. hit hard and. Who was the kid at short, Lance? Uh, I know you're looking through your notes. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's all good. Um, the shortstop uh, gouge I have here. I got about three pages of stuff here. Yeah. Me Mellis, Mellis gouge. Do I have that right? Mellis gouge up short. All right. Jake Davison up. Nice play by gouge on that. Yeah, that was. Get down in front of it. Keep it in front of him. Make the throw over to first. Now, Jake has been crushing the ball he lately has. for us. I'm just so impressed. He just the power and the patience. Yep, he wanted that strike. one there, but he's counted 0 2. <laughs> Two outs. Bay Hansen can run around third trying to keep him there. Yeah. We want to bring him home. Good eye. It's such a short, you know, backstop here. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you you've got to really be on your game to steal home. I mean, yeah. it's 
<laughs> and you got to have that speed. You know, someone like me, they would, you know, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of that, I remember last game, Jake tried to steal third at one point. <laughs> got there, and then he goes down uh, uh, swinging on that one. So they're going to leave a runner at third. Yeah. I think their uh. shortstop uh, might have played on one of our all-star teams years ago in St. Johnsbury. Well, not years ago, a couple, three years ago. So we'll move to the uh, second inning. No score here from yeah. Hazen. So you've started your firewood already, aren't you? Like, on top of things. Uh, you know, I decided to be this year, Ivan. I decided to be a little proactive and just bring it in and get it done. And, yeah. I thought you were supposed to wait for the snow to start flying before you go. <laughs> I've, I've already got one cord in my cellar from, uh, that I had left over from last year. So this is what happens once your kids graduate school. You have just time. Do firewood and. Yep. Yep. I you suddenly it. have time. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Our first two cords today. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I still got firewood from last year that I, uh, I haven't had an opportunity to get onto. Thank God. I had a little <laughs> bit left over. My wife tells me about the the um, the child labor. Oh yeah. 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 Up in a house. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh yeah. And wood heats three times. Mm -hmm. You know, because yeah. <laughs> it depends on how good you are at stacking in the basement. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. And but um, so oh, I'll let Lance catch up on his paperwork. Our catcher Miller is it Miller catching our starting catcher today for us? Yes, that's what I, I believe that's I believe that's who's in there. Yeah, he's uh, improving every game. That little high. Up on the hands of number seven. Nick there. Rubin, a senior. Wow, he Foul. turned on that one. Yes. Caught that inside. This kid, uh, he was hitting the ball really hard down in Montpelier when we played them. And he should, I mean, the big tall kid and, and power, yeah. a lot of power. So we'll yeah. see how Andrew handles this. Kind of looks like a coiled spring standing yep. there, you know? That takes a time. I don't know if they were talking over it. There was some confusion on the signs, and the batter took the time out and, and helped, but we just had uh, young Mr. Miller go out to the mound. Let's see if it coordinating. Oh, baby. That must have been just a low and outside. We got two and one up there for counts. Yep. See if Andrew can. He probably wants to paint the corners. Oh, sent one right down the middle. Oh, maybe that, that maybe up in the strike zone. Yeah, yeah that yeah. one looks a tad high. Yeah. If we ask the Montpelier folks, I'm sure they'll agree. <laughs> <laughs> Big that smiles on that side. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. The books generally get balanced throughout Whoa. the game. That one's way high. That was supposed to break, and I believe it came out. From the <laughs> That's out Pops of play. Up foul. Yep. Nice. Works account full. Three and two. Go, Nick. Looks like it's Fenton in, in right field starting. I believe right. Fenton is, yes. Oh, fouled it off. I think that might have took Miller right off the corner of the mask. Yeah, Fenton's out in right. Yep. Playing Center. away inside. You know, if he can get a shot down the line here. Did you see that catch that Fenton made the last? Yes. You had to have. Yes. It's probably the Saved about three runs. Oh, my goodness. Yep. I mean, base is loaded. If he doesn't make that catch, I think every you know he, the runner gets a triple and everybody else scores. That was an amazing. I mean, he had it right off the bat. It yeah. was so good. I I looked. We wanted to. I wanted to catch it for uh, watch the replay because it was like yeah. you know total ESPN. Mm -hmm. what yeah. A, what a top dive. ten highlight right yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. That one fell really as well. Battling. Let's see if Andrew who's going to win this battle. I think that's the ninth pitch to this guy. He won the battle. All right, Andrew, good job. 
gets the strikeout. Up next, the shortstop, Mellis Gouch, who we saw make a nice play there. I thought it was Maddox for some reason, but I I know that this he played on one of our all-star teams back in Little League days. Yeah, they have it as, as Mellis Gouch. He's a senior, yep. so. Yep, that would be right. Him and Andrew are the same age. And this kid is quite an athlete, too. Stay down, stay down. Oh, and that's going to be in. Yep. For a base hit for Gouch. Yep. Sharply hit. Ball skipped a little bit around. You know, when it comes off that infield, you yeah. know, off the grass, and you know, when yep. it hits that. It, Grayson McNaughton at shortstop today. Yes. Yeah. It's almost as if it it changes that little bit of a bounce. I think the lip is gone, but. Sam Russell up now from up here. Yeah. He's got Gouge on base. I wonder if he's going to send him on this one. If Andrew's going to check the runner, and we'll see if he checks the runner if he goes. He's going. Oh, uh, that's that's catchable. Turned the wrong way. Come on. Nice. Nice play. What's, nice play. What range that was. Made up for that error right there. Exactly. Redeems himself. Nice. With a fantastic play yeah. over there. Crazy he came McNaught. a long ways for he that on, ball, Lance. He was on his bike. Out there. I would have had to have got an airplane ticket to yeah. get over there myself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Lance, I, for I, that. I, I, <laughs> both of us, we're, we're not as good as we once was, but we're as good once as we ever was. There right? we go, there we go. Maybe a half a time. <laughs> there we go. Fell back. I just Ouch. Well, we want to keep those collision centers. Yeah, and, exactly. Know. This is uh, Buckley. <laughs> Up. Beckett Buckley. Yeah. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was a good Almost move. Got a over there. Two down. Runner on. He got one. Andrew. Not even. Nice jump. So as I've been watching this team improve every game, Lance, it's very, very exciting. Yeah. And like anything else, it it boils down to communication mm -hmm. on the field. And, you know, as they play, it it's just gets better every time I watch them. And Last year's team had, had played together for just for so long. Those guys so were almost long. clairvoyant, yep. you know? Yep. Out that there, was what a, to do. a synchronized, definitely that was a well-oiled synchronized machine. But, yeah, boys coming yeah. along real good. Were you bit. here the other day when Bill Lee came down for practice? I was not. I didn't. Uh, I didn't see that, and uh, Andrew, of course, got home and never said anything until Brenda <laughs> saw the pictures, and we're like, oh, hey. Oh, yeah, by the way. The yeah. <laughs> Inside. Yeah. Now he's overthrowing. I think we got, what, three? Three and, and oh. Three and oh. That bar is right in my way. I can't yeah, three and one. Outs. I see three and one up there now. I think okay. they did put up strike up there. Yeah, I, I got the eyes of a fighter, but I read like a third grader, so. <laughs> And Ruben uh, Gouch goes down to uh, third. Yeah, see, now you hear our, everybody talking about communication there, right? We got to yeah. talk, talk. I think we're all, I guess we're talking and uh, checks the runner. There we go, kid. Three and two. Oh, baby. No, <laughs> Missed. no windshield. Ooh. That's why I always park over on the side. Yeah. Uh, not I. <laughs> Let's see if we can win the battle at the plate here, Andrew. That's that almost back, you, Lance, yeah, but no. Right there. I hope not. Going to the going over to the bell and our little park benches. Uh, I mean, as, I, as I've said many times, I'm scared of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only ball I was good at throwing out weights, it did weigh a little more. It was 16 pounds, but you had three finger holes, you know, drilled in it. That's so. right. You know, you could, almost went professional. I could do okay with that. Oh, Jake. He still could go pro. You're right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a long story. Well, long we've story. got another uh, seven, six innings, Lance. So, mm. no, I'm kidding. Good job, Snow Andrew. Here we swinging. go. We got out of that one with no pain. All right. Very good. So, at the end of, uh, we're in the middle of the second now. Yeah. So, and, uh, Andrew got out. Yeah. So, we've covered, you know, uh, children and firewood. Yep. And um, 
Baseball, we're on that. So <laughs> how did the bowling career end? Are we still bowling, Lance? No, no. What? Uh, here's what happened. Okay. Um, I did give the pros a shot. Um, oh. If I knew then what I know now, I might not have. It was fun. It was fun. Good. Um, I did good enough to, to make it. I was not good enough to sustain anything out there. Those guys, I, I could throw 200, 210, 215, 220. Those guys could throw 240, 250 all, all day long. And this was back in the 80s when conditions are a lot different than what they are now. I'm sorry. Uh, what? <laughs> conditions in the bowling alley? Yeah, yeah. The, with bowling the, well, no, what, what, they, what they're doing with the lanes nowadays with synthetic. I was bowling on wooden lanes oh, with oh. different oiling patterns and everything. The lanes are all synthetic now. Now, yeah, they have different oiling patterns. Floor waxes. The, the equipment oh. is 10 times what it was. And, you know, you, you have a bowler now who's who's averaging 200 plus. Who, if they bowled back in the day when, when I was there, would not be averaging what they're doing now. Hmm. And if they were av and if they were bowling back in the day when Lou Wheeler was here, James Salvis' grandfather, they wouldn't even be able to hold a candle to the man. That man oh. was a bowler. And... Uh, so anyways, to make a long story <laughs> short, one night, Ivan, I got up to shoot a 10-pin, my mind went snap, crackle, pop, and I never, I, my timing was all off on the shot, and I never <laughs> regained it. Really? I never was able to regain it. It's sort of like, uh, remember when Chuck Knobloch had to retire from baseball because he forgot to throw how to first base? Yeah, Same yeah. Same thing happened to me. I forgot. My, my opening move, my opening steps, yeah. I couldn't get it back. The game became too much work to be fun anymore. Well, so well, I stopped. Now we're doing firewood. The kids are gone. Now you we're doing firewood. The your kids are gone. Through. I'll do that, yeah. Uh, I know when I played, the baseball was kind of square because, like you say, the equipment and stuff has changed so much. You know, the hickory is much different, more synthetic I'm, today. I'm telling you. Yeah. Anyway, I'm telling you. Here's uh, Dan O. de Gros. Liz yes, he here. is. Dan's been holding down that left field for us. Good, sharply hit. Right for the mitt. Yep. Bing, bang. That's okay. You know, we gotta. We want to make them field it. and <laughs> <laughs> Make some plays out there. Yeah, make some plays. We got Justin Montgomery coming up, looking for some signs. You know, when you watch these guys, you think of his older brother James, who's helping assisting the program. There's a nice yeah. poke. He's got him. He's got him. Come on. Nice. Way nice. Out. Come on, Justin. Nice speed. Look at that speed. Stand up single. Yep. Or double. Double. Me, double. Very double. good. Very good. Where's my scoring sheet here? On the numbers. So I was, I was talking about his older brother. You know, we like you said earlier, Lance. You know, we we've had these kids since T-ball. Yeah. Coming up through and, and the coaching, the same thing. You know, we got Sean now, Sean Allen coaching, but you know, James is staying with the program and he's helping to assist down there. Right. And the lineage there. Is, yep. I mean, Robbie was Robbie? What, one of the only baseball players ever to make it to Twin State from Hazen, correct? I, I believe he uh, is the only one. I yeah. could be very wrong, but. I, oh, I believe so, too. Fenton, for a strike. Fenton sees a strike there, that that breaker, that bank. <laughs> caught him. So you had Robbie, then you had James, now you've got uh, Justin. Justin. Yep. And it's the same, you know, we're here with Fenton up to bat. You know, his dad and all of his uncles played. Um, all of them, phenomenal right. athletes, the yep. Myers family. So. Yeah. Big time soccer yeah. players. Uh, and uh, Fenton does everything. You know, he does uh, uh, swimming too. He was doing really? swimming until the shoulder gave out him. That's trouble, but get on your bag, Justin. Underneath. Yep. So two down. Yeah. Jake Hayden up now. Now, Jake, um, you know, when he's not playing ball, this kid is in the gym. Really? He works out. Very strong young man. Him and Justin Montgomery work out together. There, under, under it with the hands, but that's trouble. Oh, what a play behind yeah. the dugout for Great us. Catch. We didn't get to see it, but we saw him sliding by, but what yeah. a catch. I guess shortstop today is the position for yeah. <laughs> Johnny exactly. Hustle. Boy, did Justin get a hold of that ball, though. That's, that was a nice hit ball. So we'll move uh, to the third inning. The score still is nothing to nothing. You're watching 
Hayes and Varsity Baseball here on HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, The Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day, breakfast, takeout all day. Check out their daily specials and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Let's talk about The Village Restaurant. What's your uh, item of choice from the menu when you go in there, Ivan? Well, I'm a Reuben guy. You're a Reuben kind of guy? Or a Monte Cristo, you know, okay. those are good. Monte Cristo's good. Yeah. But the Reuben, they do a very good Reuben down there in Lynn. Yes. Does a fabulous job, all of the folks. Excellent place. Michael, you, I can't remember what you told me. You Fish sandwich. Fish sandwich. And Arthur? Uh, I haven't been there a long time, but uh, had a good breakfast. Too. You had a good breakfast? Yeah, yeah. they have great breakfast there. Yeah. yeah. I usually go for the meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Oh. Yeah. we got to get Guy Fietti to come up there for diners, drive-ins, and dives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's already a, wait, a line out the door That's you know, true. most mornings. You know, I had a, a buddy of mine, he came up from Tennessee, and he was going to come up and watch the eclipse, and I said, hey, we'll meet at the village village restaurant. Yeah. And uh, the line, like you said, Lance, was down the street. And I, I mean, it Well, was, was that the day of the it. eclipse? That was the day of the eclipse, and I well, realized. The line like, everywhere oh, that day. Yeah. You'd better come over to the house and have yeah. coffee, and we'll <laughs> break bread at the house instead. We had them make a uh, banana cream and coconut cream pie for a party. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Lucas Elber up now. No, separate. Yeah. But that's my next one. Hi. Hi. Well, I'll tell you what, the day of the eclipse up to CNC, I don't know if you're familiar with, with the layout of the store up there. Yeah. There's two bathrooms in there, okay? We had a line all the way down the frozen aisle. Shot Whoa, baby, what a shot that was. Alber. Alber on base. Down the frozen aisle, halfway across the meat aisle for the about the entire day. And I left just about the time the eclipse was right around the time it was starting. I knew I could get home well before totality. And yeah. I went by the people at the end of the line. <laughs> I said, you people have to make your decision whether you're going to stay in this line and miss what you came here for. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have missed that. Was something else. It was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. Going. There's a nice bunt. Play it to first. Come on. Jake down over to first. Oh, be time. Yeah. Runner goes to third. What? We're going to have runners at the corners here as he beat out the bunts. Wow. He called him out. He called him out? I well, I'm not gonna. Uh, <laughs> Montpelier fans saying it's egregious. <laughs> That's uh, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, he's. I mean, he's got the from that up was, here. That uh, was Clayton Foster with on that one, right? Yeah. That? Uh, yeah, they're <laughs> saying he's safe. Uh, I'll score it as maybe safe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Out, should have been safe. That's a good pitch right there. Good job, Joe. I had uh, turned my attention to the base runner. Yeah. Uh, coming I mean, around I, second. I didn't think Jake had a chance yep. over there. That was, but he being down on the field, sometimes from up here, that's a good pitch. Yeah. Very good pitch, Andrew. Now, this is Hollingsworth up? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Colden Hollingsworth? Okay. Top of the lineup. So they've they've batted around already. Okay. Yeah, top of the lineup right. Yeah. Here. Stay down. Stay down. Come on. Done. No, no. Instead goes Got him first. anyways. Good job, Grayson. One run. Out. Scores. You know what brought him around, Lance, was playing the small ball. You, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Laying down that bunt. Advancing the runner and then heads up base running brought him over to third. Yeah. But I think we got two out, so maybe we can get out of this with only one. That is stroked. Yeah. That is stroked. Wow. Center fielder back. Back, back, back. Oh my goodness. Just down on Hit his glove too. What? What a ball. What a effort put in by. Look at the see what we got out there in center. What? Was it Owen? Scorstead? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's Owen, isn't it? Yeah, Owen yeah. scores that out in yeah. center. I think he back. He he turned and burned, and he must have covered. 
An extra 40, 50 yards out there. Wow. Wowzer. That was Groff that hit that one, correct? Yeah. He's D8. Okay, uh -huh. all right. Proud mom over here. I, I'm gonna say he crushed that yeah. one. That, that, was, was a, that was a wow. shot. What a hit. Score one yes. up, man. They're teeing off now. See Shot to right. Fenton. Hitting the relay. And now the runner. Oh. Score. Okay. Well, I think that might have been a breaking ball. Yeah. Who had the hit on that one? Megan Smith. Smith. With the here's, RBI. A, here's another good bat coming up as well. See if Andrew gives him anything to swing at. He got him on the first time around. Going. Season. Ball back to the backstop. Yeah. Yeah, it's just Ruben up. Yeah, he struck him out. Yeah. We still got a battle going here. It's a lot of game to go. There we go. Way to stop it. It's like the Bruins last night. Didn't anybody watch the Bruins game? 5 1. What a. For Florida? Yeah. And they, they had been. Uh, only one day of rest. I mean, they flew right down to Tampa. Yeah, they played OT against yeah. Toronto. That was a good game, too. There we go. There we go. Now we're up. Two and two. I believe it's uh, one. Yeah, one and two. One and two. Okay. Two outs. Oh. Two zip. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the scoreboard on the screen over here. My, I don't have to strain with yeah. my eyes yeah. at, at 54. That's strike three. Yep. Strike Very good. Out. Very good. We got out of that with only two, so all right. So, at, let's see. We're moving to the middle of the third. Hazen behind two zip. Yeah. Let's see who we got coming up next. Uh, Landon Miller will bat first for the Wildcats. And what, what is he batting around eighth or ninth, Lance? Uh, la uh, ninth, yes. Batting ninth. Yep. You know, we uh, we used to vacation when the kids were little down in Florida, and you could go to Tropicana Field and catch a baseball game. Watch the race. And. Um, for such little money. Pennies, yeah. And now, you know, I look at, um, I wonder how much a hockey ticket is down there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to think. Don't even want to think about it. Uh, I mean, that's like, you know, I mean, the Carolina Hurricanes are playing tonight against the Rangers. Mm -hmm. The last game they played in Hartford ever, right? Yeah. Jamie and I got tickets, like, the week of the game. Really? For, like, 40 bucks and they were great seats. Oh bad. And it just, you know, last game ever in Hartford. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, then they went to Carolina. I think it was a, within a two years they won the cup. Yeah. Down there. And uh, this kid's got an arm well, too behind yeah. the base. Behind the bed. Open up the series tonight against uh, the New York Rangers. Yep. I like the Rangers. They're like second, right, you know, right behind the Bruins. So I'm a Canadians fan, but their glory days are long gone. I don't mm. know if we'll ever see them return. I've been up, yeah. That's a fun place. I've been up the for Molson Center. And I've been up for Bruins. Ago. Bruins. Have you ever been up for a Bruins Canadians game up there? I haven't. It's no. fun. Oh, I got up there for a playoff game a few. Uh, well, really? A long time ago now, probably 20 years ago. But that was that was fun. Right, here we go. Let's get some contact. Landon Miller. Oh, good Someone. cut. Nice cut. Kept his head in. Getting some signs from the coach, Sean, over there. I imagine, there we go, whoa. Right back to the pitcher. Yeah. Over back. Now, Ivan, I gotta ask you, you've, you've coached baseball, you've done baseball. Yes. All these hand gestures over there. Yes. Is it truly saying hit, bunt, swing, what do you want on your pizza after the game? Or is it just they're just over there making it, gestures? It's all of the above. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, you don't want anybody to steal your sign. So if you just stick a hand in your pocket and say that's bunt, 
and it's the only sign you give. Everybody will know it. So he always asked, do you want French fries with that? That okay. ball broke a little bit and went outside. And, um, you know, it's like uh, just a different type of sign language. And, okay. Uh, I, I know wonder how much is majors, real and how much is it. Well, a lot of it isn't. You know, yeah. it's, uh, oh, baby, what a shot. Stay nice with ball. it. Stay with it. Wheels, nice wheels, play. wheels. Oh, what a stretch. Wow. Wowzer. What a stretch by the first baseman out there. That was a play. <laughs> Woo. Trying to get to my lineup here to see who's on. Uh, that is uh, Clayton Foster on first. That was quite a stretch. Yeah. Look. Oh, Keegan Smith at first? Yeah. Clayton moved to shortstop. Okay. Yeah. See, now I'm not going to use the same word that the Montpelier wow. fans did by egregious. It used to be the tie went to the runner. That's down. Come on. Nice catch. Oh, my goodness. Wow. What a catch. Wow. We're going to see some ball today. That was a fantastic catch. You say he trapped it? They're saying he trapped it off the ground. Okay. So that puts McNaughton at first. No, not, yeah, Grayson. Grayson, yep. At first. Yep. Davison up. Yeah. No, Andrew's up. Andrew up, okay. Yep. Um, see, so see, I'm see glad you're Andrew here. see can push him around. Well, again, I've known most of these kids yeah. since T-ball and back. And it's so hard to not, uh, when I'm up here, Lance, you know, to, Part of me is still coaching and just, you know, cheering yeah, them all on, exactly. you know, I mean, whether you're, but. Um, who, who do we have on first, Ivan? That would be Grayson. Did Owen come like up? Because I had Owen. Well, Owen, he boogied down and they called him out, remember? Okay. He's going. Get down. Oh, he's out. Oh, he dropped the ball. After the dust cleared, the dust settles, right? Isn't that how it goes? Ball dropped, okay. So stolen base. I'm just seeing, I'm still seeing Lance and Jamie up at the, it wasn't the forum, right? They weren't playing at the forum in those days, were they? Who is this? When you went up to, oh. Oh, she wasn't up there with us. I, uh, I took her brothers up. I heard, she, we used to go down to the Whalers games all the time down go, at yeah. Hartford. Yeah. Now, I used to take her brothers up. Now, they were playing at uh, Bell Center then. I never got yep. to a game. I went to a lot of concerts at the forum, but I never got to a hockey game at the forum. Yeah. A lot of, yeah, I did concerts there, and then yeah. became then everybody started going to the Bell Center, right. and now it's the Molson Center. Oh, we nice waited up. Oh, right to the shortstop. Laid, held off. You know, you held in on that curveball. That's not a bad at bat. Just shortstop's getting a lot of both sides getting a lot of action. A lot today. of action. A lot of action. All right, so I tell you, we've had a lot of defensive changes out there from up here, then. Yeah. Okay. Now, is it Solens or Solens? Solens. Solens, okay. And it's some sort of Greek mythology type. It's the wise owl. The wise owl? Okay. I tried to Google it, and it says something about wise counsel. Wise counsel in Greek, like Greek mythology, right? Yeah. Owls are supposed to be wise, I guess. Right, yeah, right, okay. All right, so long O, Solen. They always ask who, though. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll read our sponsor one more time <laughs> we've got a moment. Having a good time here with Ivan Menard. Ivan, I want to thank you very much for coming over. This is awesome. Well, you're a good guy, and uh, I appreciate all that you guys do for Ivan us. Ivan Menard so. on commentary, uh, yeah. Michael on tech, Arthur on camera. You're watching Hazen Wildcat Baseball here on HCTV Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsored by the Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day, breakfast and takeout all day. Check out their daily specials and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnc.org. Jumpstart your future. Ivan, I don't know if I've ever told you this. Remember for about 10 years, I tried to get you to come up to my house to show me where my where my uh, water shutoff was? Yeah. Did I ever tell you I found it? Oh, did you really? Yeah, I did. I <laughs> did. <laughs> did you, you find? You sunk it right by the house. There was a cinder block on it for like years. 
Oh, really? And I went over there one day, and I moved this cinder block, and I'm like, Lo and that's behold. my shutoff to my curb stop. <laughs> Ivan wasn't uh, crazy, huh? Well, you're, you kept telling me, oh, man, I, I can't even remember. You know, yeah. I can't remember what I had for breakfast, much less what I did, you know, years ago. <laughs> that's uh, funny, because the biggest thing I remember about that was burying, I think it was Mr. Lampfear's. Crescent five, wrench. Yeah. It was a 516 snap-on <laughs> wrench. And I remember telling him I buried that, and he goes, well, you know, that was a snap-on. No, I said, yeah, I do. That was a good pitch. Gallage That's playable. Come on, guys. That's a hard ball. Good job, Justin. Good All job. Right, Justin Montgomery out there. Yeah, that was, oh my so goodness. That had to be 25 years ago, it seems like. Uh, it's, you know, yeah. Uh, I, I was going to tell you, whatever. we moved to the house in 96. Yeah. You did that work in the spring of 97. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, Who do we got up here? Sam Russell? Russell up. Good start. Good start. Russell, a senior for the Solis. Yeah. Three, three and a half inch shell is what I've been using. This is another, another good bat right here. Flew out last time he was up at yeah. bat. Owen looks to be playing him a little bit shallow, but we'll find out. Owen's got a lot of wheels out there in the center, so. Oh, that one. Yeah. Release. See where we're at. We got a good. Looks like a two and one, maybe. There's another one. Two yep. and two. You know, Lance. I know it's the weather, but if if we look left and right, I mean, we have <clears throat> a crowd here. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Best crowd of the season so yeah. far. Yeah. I mean, the first few games, it was cold. Oh, my goodness, yeah. Last game, they moved it up an hour, which was brilliant because just as we finished. Whoa, baby. Shot to third, Jake turn, down. Turn, turn, turn. Can't find oh, it. That's all right. Now, that was a, that was a bullet. That my was a hot goodness. shot. Jake did a good job Woo. just knocking it down, keeping yeah, it Yeah, he did. I was, I was thinking that morning. He almost, <laughs> th that batter almost put the ball right in his glove for him. Yeah. I mean, it was just so hard to hit. Buckley struck out last time in the second. Yeah. He got one out here. One out. Let's see if he takes off. Or he's gonna yeah, check moving that runner. game up an hour, the, the PA game, uh, the last game up an hour was brilliant because just as we finished That's that game, right. yep. it started raining. Yep. That was brilliant. Weather forecasters got that one right. They told us when it would start, and it, I got it did. Mm -hmm. Taking a good lead. I wonder if he's going to jet. He's going. That's a strike. And in yep. that second is Russell with a stolen base. Yeah. And you know, you can't speed up your motion to, to bring the pitch home. You can try that, but it just throws off your inertia and your timing. And they're getting a good jump. They got a good read, but yeah. uh, just going to get that ball down to there. Uh oh. Way to Eric. Hit him? Yep. Okay. I, was say, I thought it was a skip. All right. Yep. Hit. Uh, well, one thing about it, unless they double steal, but now this kid really pounded the ball last time, right? And then he stole. stole oh, no, maybe he didn't hit the quite smart, but then he stole. Got on base with a single, yep. and then stole the base, and then scored. Yep. I'm not a stats guy. Sorry, Lance. I'm, I'm doing the best I can, but I've got backup That's too. So out of play, I think, isn't it? Tailing out of play, Lance. Yeah, tailing yep. way way. Oh. So once you found your curb stop, did you say, "See, Jamie, I, I told you it was there," or? I just said, "I can't believe I found it." <laughs> Because I had zero idea yeah. where to look. Checking the runners. Squares up to butt. Oh, squared it up. Into the crowd. Yeah. You hear a lot of screeching over there. Yeah. Level it up. Well, he's not going to square up the bunt now. I'm surprised. That's See, it's that small ball, but trying to push him out of the force. Advance the runners, give up an out maybe. But now he's going to be swinging away. Yeah, out. He's got a swing. That's a strike three. Nice three. pitch. Two we got. got the K. Yo, we were talking about uh, lineage an inning ago. And 
And like Jake Davis and his dad's down there. TJ's down there keeping yeah, books keeping for a us. Book. Yeah. And you talk about another treasure trove of, of baseball knowledge. Double steal, it's above us. This is Foster, correct? Yes. TJ and all of his uncles, well, you went to school with his uncles too. Yeah. Oh, we got him. Come on. Jesus. Just run him down, Jake. There we go. Damn, there we go. Man, there we go. The Good heads up play, guys. Good job, Andrew and Jake. So that'll end um, up here as part of the inning. Yep. No run score. It's still two zip. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth. Yep. Here at Hudson Fields. That was a good play. I think the double steal was back on, and uh, we caught him. So we'll be back Thursday. Uh, boys are playing Thetford. Do I, do I have that right, Ivan? Do you think? That's what I was told. Yes, we're hosting Thetford, and then Saturday we host Spalding here. Uh, we got a busy, busy schedule. Yeah. Montpelier comes in one and zero in division, two and one overall, or maybe they're three, three and one overall. They played Lamoille last night. Yeah. I did this the other night. Hayes in the two and one division, two and two overall. So. Now I heard Thetford was five and zero. Are they? I do not I, know. I, I'm surprised they've got in five games, but of course they're a little bit further south. Yeah. DJ'd a couple times down at Thetford. What Long was ride. I DJ'd a couple times. Oh, yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Long ride, but it's all interstate. Sure is. Yeah, it's already got the texture like a morale. Yeah. You said, um, I want to say they had cattle auctions or something yeah, back really? in the day down there, yeah. too. It's kind of a back to my farming days, I guess, yep. when I was a kid. But, whoa. Yeah. This catcher's got quite an arm, so. He does. I'd like Jake to start us up here. We got to get some guys on base. Yeah, I believe we've had just a walk. If I'm looking at my stats, I've done this right. We've had one walk. Uh, Justin got a double. Mm -hmm. McDonald got a single. Other than that, we haven't put anybody on base. Oh, Jake. Got a good cut. Head in. Fly outs, or fly outs or Ks, you know. Or yeah. So, yeah. Now, they're playing Jake awfully shallow in centers, I hope. He can if he gets. He, uh, yeah, he yeah, definitely connects. can. Yeah, he's got the power. There he goes. That curveball, he just couldn't hold off on it long enough and turned into it. Oh, and two, your counts. Oh, off the handle. Yeah. He Easy just gave him another curveball. But that's all right. We're making contact, Jake. Good job. Justin Montgomery. He hit the double last time he was up. Well, this is Dan. Dan okay, Dan. Dan DeGrose Lears. All right, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I looked ahead on my score sheet here. And here's Dan. another very, very strong kid. Mm. That This guy is uh, just Justin's muscles. on deck, yeah. Yep. Takes a strike down the middle. It's all right. He wanted to see it. And it's, you know, they're the same thing. They're playing him pretty shallow, but I know that center Dan's fielder has some good videos, power. Yeah. Right. Oh, another one, Dan. Gave him the curveball on that one. And I wonder if he's gonna chase it down with another curveball. There you go, Dan. Dirt. Nice right. play by the catcher. Yeah. Kept the ball in front of him. Yeah, there's got to be, I wouldn't even, do, there's, there's got to be what, 100 people to our yeah. right, Lance. You guys yeah. think so? A good crowd. Yeah. Oh, baby, just outside. Good eye, Dan. 
We get little kids out, everybody out getting some sun, shorts, suntans. This is what we've been waiting for, you know? Okay. I mean, I had a wood fire the other day. I know. It's actually well, Sunday. Shorts. Sunday I started one up. Shorts and sunburns yeah. right today, right? Yeah, I felt it after I got that stack of that wood outside. Ooh. Yeah. But three and two, full count. That's a good at bat. Dan's worked it full. Oh, so caught just a tip of it. Just a tip. Okay, That's now it. we've got Justin Montgomery up, who yeah. doubled last time. Uh, center fielder's taking five steps. Yeah. Step. He took five little steps back. Let's see what Justin can follow it up with. Good eye, Justin. In the dirt. Bay Hansen pitching a good game so far today for Montpelier. That went down. Idea. You know what? I think in between any, well, we'll find out who they threw at the last, that big game they had. Was it last night or the night before? Or last night. Last night, yeah. Yeah. Played the Moyle. Was, what did they say? It was 17-2, something like that. Something like that. And I wonder if that was the same kid that we faced when we went down to Montpelier. There we go, Justin. Now you've seen it, buddy. Although they're warming up another kid over here, Lance, to the left. Now, whether, yeah. whether he'll come in, we'll find out. If the number on everything's correct, it's Brody Stanton, who's a freshman. There it is. Right there. Oh, yeah, good at bat. Justin mm -hmm. went opposite field went right. with the pitch. Gets on base. Yep. Two for two with a double and a single. Justin Montgomery, Fenton yeah. Meyer yeah. up next. I was just gonna, you know, it's time for our seniors to put the bat on the ball and up steps Fenton. So I hope my mind telepathy and. Fenton Meyer, one of the great cheerleaders of any team. I mean, he's oh, got a voice, yeah. man. Yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah. I remember basketball, Can you I? could hear him throughout the gym. I don't care how loud the crowd uh, is, yeah. you can hear Fenton. Great kid, too. Positive. Coach going out to talk. Things over. Logan Cook going out to talk to uh, Hanson here. Oh, we got to count. Uh, one and oh, two out, one on. Bottom of yep. the fourth. Yep. You know, Lance, as I sit here, it seems like the game is, is moving along. I know it's only the top of the uh, bottom of four, yeah. but it's surprising how fast the game is going yeah. by for me. It's moving right along. Because normally I'm filling my face with peanuts and <laughs> pretzels. <laughs> Somebody's it is a little different when you're keeping track of everything. I, it, I agree. It is, yeah. See if he's going to send Justin down through. Boy, did he I mean, pull his foot? I guess the field umpire would have seen if he had balked, but there's so many ways to balk. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, it's a question asked a lot. Oh, it's all right. Liar. Now we're going to either, we're not going to double steal on the short. Jake Hayden. Looking to get his bat on the ball. Runners on first and second. Yeah. Justin, courtesy of the single Fenton, courtesy of the hit. Now, if we play heads up, uh, we got two outs. Here we go. Takes one down the middle. Um, so Let's I make a little contact here, you know? That's what we need. Uh, even a pass ball to, well, there's two outs, so a forced. Oh. Excuse me, doesn't. Uh, let's see what Jake can do. Go back. We have uh, Landon Miller coming up next. Come on, Jake. That curveball. I, I, I wonder if this kid's getting tired. I mean, of course, we don't keep track of pitch counts up here and that no. kind of stuff. But, uh, you don't have your little clicker with you? Well, you know, I did that for a lot of years. Mm. But uh, let's see what we do here. Oh, baby. There we go. 
You know, I was just about to say when Jake straightens it out, this kid's got some, he's got some pop with the yeah. bat too. And Fenton got a really good jump on that. He was already halfway to, more than halfway to second base. Two outs, he's moving, you know. Mm -hmm. Come on, Jake. Boy, that catcher was on top of that thing. Keeping that in front of him. We got two and two. Uh, yep. Yeah. It's actually two, two and two. Yeah, that's a go. lot of twos, Lance. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Jake, oh, Jake wants points. timeout. Outside, that was a. Thought he had it. Uh, me too. I, I'm not. I, I, yep. Yeah. Three and two, your count. Yeah. Come on, Jake. Er. Oh, a little out. help. Yep. So, so got a couple runners on, but yeah, unfortunately, two outs. So Lance, you must recognize this umpire. He does a lot of basketball games and. Uh, I if think I, is he from like St. Jay? Yep. Okay, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yep. yep. I don't know his name, but I know him. Yes. Um. And he does. I don't think that he does. I saw him do some youth hockey once a long, long, long time ago. <laughs> and um, I don't know if he works for Bouye Facets or something. Yeah, like. yeah, he works for one. Of, yeah, it's not. Bouye, yeah, it's one of the bread guys. Yeah, one of the bread. I, yep. <laughs> Well, yeah, I think, I think the it was store, a, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it was an I, I think it was an AAU store. game. <laughs> he was he was refereeing for for basketball, mm -hmm. and uh, it was over in St. Jay, and I was sitting beside Jimmy Belafonte. Need I say any more? Mm -hmm. And uh, Jimmy ended up getting thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting right beside Jimmy, and Jimmy's just mouth. And, and they were the calls weren't yeah. great. And, but Jimmy, you know how Jimmy gets real mouthy, and oh, yeah. all of a sudden the, he looks right up in the stands. He goes, "You out." Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was pointing at me. I'm like, oh, whoa. And he said, no. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he didn't hesitate. No, you kind of got to. Yeah. I believe this gentleman behind the plate, I can't, for some reason, I his name his is name. skipping. Um, yeah, his name's totally escaping me. Robbie played ball. Robbie Montgomery played ball against this guy. He went to the academy, and he was okay. quite a baseball player back in the day. And um, Yeah, he moves like an athlete. You know? Oh, yeah. Hundred percent, and, and he, you know, he calls a solid game mm -hmm. on the uh, on the hard ball, um, on the court. Right. I can't remember which red outfit he works for, but yeah, Bouye or somebody like that. Yeah, I've done I, it for I, a long time. Yes, he has. I was gonna say you probably when you you guys had the store. Uh, when I was with Smiths, he uh, he delivered there, and yeah, I think or when we had when we, uh, when we had our store, it yeah. might have been right at the tail end. He oh, okay. Came but uh, yeah, yeah, I recognize him now. Look at that. That was a good release. That was a you know snap and pop on our catcher. He's, I know that he's been working on that. And uh, nice throw down a second for warm up. So let's see if he can follow that up. Clayton Foster up for the Solons. Need some tough so D. far today, if I've looked at this, uh, he was thrown out, but should have been safe at first on that one play. Oh, he's safe this time because Andrew just beamed him. Okay. That's and I don't have a note on what he did the second time. But, uh, <laughs> so he's on base then. All right. Yeah. You know, Lance, Top of the lineup. Oh, I'm Hollingsworth. sorry. No, I'm sorry. Okay. Top on. of the lineup, Hollingsworth. No, go for it. Yeah, I, I do a lot of talking. You know, you uh, you talk about the signs and stuff in the in the language of it. And yeah. There's a, a lot of baseball is almost a chess match. Oh, now, that's is. catchable, but a lot of sun for Dano. Dan coming Very in. Very high hit ball. Very good job, Dan. Oops. Yeah, he's looking directly in it. Yeah. Right that's that's a tough catch for those guys. So we, we talk about the signs and stuff, but, you know, the strategy mm -hmm. um, of who to throw, how long to throw them, pitch counts, you know, and then where do you position those players? And aside from trying to get, you know, everybody a chance to play, too, it's, yeah. it's a difficult... And you know, I'm, I know it's stressful on those guys down there. Good Throw move. to first. Yep. Groff so far today. Let me look at my notes here and see. This is this is of course as unofficial as you can get. But uh, it looks Groff flight out in the first. He doubled. 
been scored in the third. Going. That's a nice pitch, though. Look at that throw. He just, he's there. Oh. Nice backup. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I mean, and, and that's what gets me, Ivan, and I'll be free to admit, for me, baseball is the hardest game to call. A, I don't know it really well. I mean, I know the basics, but not yeah. not what you're talking about out here. Yeah. And you're right. There's oh. either balls going by, runner Jake, goes. Get on your, yep, sorry, Lance. Um, you know, and then you're sitting here, and it's like there's either nothing going on or there's like five moves, moves at once mm -hmm. going on. Like you say, it is. It's a chess match out there. Yep. And like I say, some of it's small ball, then, you know, you get hit and run. Um, double steals. Double, and, yeah. You know, it's just, you know. It's quantum physics, and I was never, I was never, <laughs> you know, I took I took shop math and business math with Gene Hackett, and that was as far as I went, you know. Yeah, I try to stick, uh, I, I can't spell any of those, so. Yeah. Oh, did he just off hit another hands, batter. I think it went off his hands, It's going to be a trip to a mound now. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe not. I guess they're going to. Oh, he's got to wait. You know, I just found this out. If you, if you don't get time as a coach and you walk onto the field, there's some form of a violation. I think so. I, I, I just heard this at the last home game. Huh. But I was shivering so hard <laughs> that I didn't. Uh, <laughs> Keegan Smith up next. <laughs> My internal thermometer said, oh, well, uh, thermostat said, you make some heat well, there, fellow. Art and I were over here, and before we started, I went and got a third layer <laughs> and put it on, and I was glad I did. I had a T-shirt, a flannel shirt, my hoodie, and my winter coat. And I was really? warm. You know, wow. uh, wind was chilly. Oh, yeah. You know, and Art had went over and got his winter coat. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, he was glad he did. I'll tell you what, we got a little break here. Let's do... Uh, Let's do a little sponsor read. Uh, Lance Hall with the call today from Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Hard Vermont. Ivan Menard doing my commentary today, and I greatly appreciate this, Ivan. Michael, Michael on tech, Arthur on camera. And I know uh, one of our sponsors is the Village Restaurant. As the, I'll, I'll back off on the sponsor read until I can find it. Smith coming up now. Now, Andrew's going to be up. He's getting up in his pitch count, too. First and third, so you know they're stealing here. Now they're trying to play coy, right? Mm -hmm. Draw the throw, and then... But so Groff goes down. Runners at second, third. Was it, is there uh, one out? One out, correct, yeah. So now the force is off, so that, you know... Right. This kid's going to be swinging for the fences, and he's got the stick to do it. Nice play by Miller. Yep. He struggled a little bit behind the plates last game, but I saw both Joe and Sean talking to him before the game today mm -hmm. and giving him every tip, you know, they could think of to yep. to go by. And it was a big step up, you know, for yeah. this young man. And, and so glad to have a nice pitch. So glad to have the Crassberry community coming down yeah. and playing the game with us. And, he, you know, having gone to... Cabot High School. I played a lot of Division Four ball right. and, and moved forward, but it's it's a good step up for um, this young man, and and I know they're working with him in every game. You can see that improvement. With he him. is. Yep. So it's better already out there. Yeah, today. Baptism by fire. Yep. And um, well, I mean, as you know, <laughs> you learn nothing by doing it right. True. <laughs> it's when you make your mistakes that you know you're able to to figure things out and and. <laughs> That, he was trying to put in a curveball there, I believe, and his release isn't. Uh, maybe it's in his timing of his release, but he's he's got great movement on that curveball. But he ground that one in. Let's see what he does here. Brought some speed. That should be catchable. Come in, Dan. Another high ball into the sun. Oh, such a hard ball. Yeah. Runner's gonna score. Yeah. Uh, other runner stays at second, so in with a single yeah. is Smith. Dan went in pretty hard. It's, that is such a hard ball because there's nothing to judge it from up there. There's not a cloud in the sky today. For, and, it is just and, bright sunshine. Yeah. That, that solar heat tab is just pumping out the sun. Uh, Nick Rubin up for the mm -hmm. Solons. We've got a force. I don't think... 
Who's that second, guys? And just going over to third back. Come on, Jake. Okay. Now watch the runner. Good play. Good job, Andrew. Two down. That was a good read on Andrew's part. I don't know what they could be talking about. I think he's looking for a Bach. Pushed him? I don't think it would be a push. It would, well, maybe. So that's what I was saying. I, I think it's the same thing the gentleman over here to my left is saying. They're talking about possibly a Bach. So we'll see. Typically, if you make, you have to make a throw to, and he went to third. Yep. So two we got. So like I was saying, I think an inning ago, there's so many ways to make a balk. If uh, if there's a runner occupying first, and you have to you have to throw to third if there's somebody on uh, first base. And, and somebody listening to the program is going to correct me for talking. But we'll see if they send a runner with two outs. I think this kid is going to take off. No. Andrew Nick over Rubin. through Nick Rubin, yeah. Count what three and two, I believe. Yeah. And they got so many good ball players on this Montpelier team. They've this coach has been down there for a long, long time. Let's see what Andrew brings him. That's a good pitch. Well, he's worth the count full. Mm -hmm. And Andrew, uh, two outs. Montpelier well, so, did put one more run on this inning, right? So I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Andrew. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, so the scoreboard was wrong. Yeah. Man. Oh. It, yeah. They're either, sometimes he's ahead or behind. <laughs> That's why I like, I like the umpires behind the plate that really give the count out nice mm. and loud. You can tell. So two and two is your count. Oh, baby, that's foul ball. Though. Out of play. <laughs> Down foul. Poor Dan might need a break out there. I mean, he's got sunglasses and his visor and probably a little bit of war paint underneath his eyes. Get him oh. a pair of Eclipse glasses. Yeah, there you go. This kid's getting a bigger lead over there. Nope. Ball four. Oh, I thought that was ball. No, no, oh. yeah, it was two and two. Oh, now, the board now, is correct. I believe it's now, I got you. Three and two. Runner advanced up to second. Yep. Now we've got a three and two count on Ruben with uh, two outs here in the top of the fifth. Montpelier up three zip. Let's see if Andrew can fan him here. That's trouble. Come on, yeah, come on, Fenton. Come on, Fenton. In. Oh. Bloop in there. Runner scores. Yep. He thought that was carrying a little bit. You see him, he, he let off the gas just for a brief second, and then he kicked the burners back in. Yeah, and that's tough to, you know, it's I've, never, I've never played, I've only played a minute amount of softball, but with a shot like that, yep. yeah, it's hard to judge whether it's, sure is. whether it's gonna fall in short or whether it's gonna come out to you. And that ball had a lot of backspin on it too. So like I said, Fenton, he read it. He just, he thought it was gonna carry a little bit further, but. Uh, gouge up Whoa, now. baby. That one there. There it goes. His curveball is, it's all right. Gouge had a base hit and a fly out so far in this game. Go, Bellis. That's a good pitch right there. You know, I think the crowd is getting bigger, Lance, for some... <laughs> well, it's people me. getting out of work. Oh, that's... You know? Yeah, I never thought of that. People coming into town. In the dirt. Oh, almost. Runner's going to go to third on that one. See everybody moving. Dan DeGrosler's is moving, you know, in case there's yeah. a throw, backing up the play. Yeah, I think we've got a number of people that... Uh, I've found out that, you know, got out of work. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even now. think of that, Lance. Right now it's on to 5.30, yep. so... Yeah, anybody got out, of, you know, working in Morrisville or somewhere? Sure. That's a nice right cut, back. too. Good pitch. Into the grass. This ought to be a battle right here. Couch and Menard. Mono a mano out here. And I know these guys were on the same all star team together, and, and this kid, his dad, is a, does some uh, artesian well pumps, I believe. Okay. That's a 
just outside. Good speed. Oh, and don't be flat footed. Fellas, let's go. Did he just say three and two? Three and three. I see two and two on the scoreboard. I'm seeing one. That's that's high. I guess we're. Couch is going to take his base. Uh, I guess we got to pay attention. Well, uh, I didn't realize what the count was. Watch the runner. I'm talking out loud. I got to be quiet. <laughs> take the daddy out of the out of the out of the business here. We got time anyway. You know he's going to go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sam Russell up. Yeah. There's just no relief in their in their batting lineup. I mean, they've got yeah. a lot of solid hitters. Uh, long inning for Andrew out there. Seventh, yeah. seventh player that's come, come yeah. to the bat so far. Now, I wonder if that was a planned pitch out to try to maybe catch him. Because, that was, you know, it's a yeah. good height to handle a ball for a throw down to second. Runners at the corner. I bet you he goes this time. Same pitch. Oh, that was a set play. It was supposed to go back to Andrew to try to get the runner to go. Runner scores. Yeah. He just he just sent it a little. It was supposed to be a fake throw to second to try to beat the runner on third, obviously. But Ruben scores. Yeah. Yeah. We got six up now, or five. 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 Scoreboard's like partially blocked underneath here. You the know that side. bar is right yeah, in the right way in for us. Yeah. It wouldn't be our vision because I mean you're only what 34 now, right, Lance? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that all day. Well, I mean I d I made the 60s by two weeks, so. I. Uh, nice pitch. Nice pitch. Let me think. How old am I? I think I'm gonna guess, Lance. You are 50. 57, six or seven. Can it be 50? Who do we got? Who do we got? Uh, no, wait, who do we got? Uh, Sam Russell up. Is this Russell up? Yeah. Oh, I got, I got a note. Nice on pitch. That. Nice pitch, Andrew. We don't even want to. There's just too much speed. Watch the runner. I got to stop that, guys. Tell me to stop, Ivan. It's good. I like it. Go ahead. I like go it. Ahead. Yeah. It's awesome. We just need one more pitch to get out of this with the pain and. There it is. All right. All right. Struck yeah. him out to end the inning, but not before they put uh, some runs on some up here. Up five zip here, moving to the bottom of the fifth. That was a lot of Hudson yeah. Fields. A lot of pitches, a lot of pain that inning. Well, Ivan, I, I wait until the end of the year before I turn any older because my birthday just happens to be on December 31st. Oh, we're both December babies. Okay. Yeah, which my dad was thrilled because then he still got the tax write-off. <laughs> <laughs> that is so for the, for the year. I, I, he was no telling my mom to hurry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this so this December thirty first, I will turn the young age of sixty. Oh, I was off a little ways. Yeah, but I'll, I'll take fifty seven. I like that. I like that. I feel like I, I, I'm my brain got to about nineteen, and I said I'm just going to hang here. I just. I, I think most men uh, stay there. Maturity wise, yeah, anyways, yeah. until what? When do, you, when do you finally get smarter? Anybody know? Uh, I feel like I'm 35. I just switched on. <laughs> <laughs> I just switched on at 35. Oh. Uh, I remember uh, when I, I talked to my wife, I'm, I'm getting dumber. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I love you, baby. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jamie, for uh, making Lance so smart. Exactly. Uh, I don't know where I'd be without her, truly. And I mean that in all yeah. sincerity. I remember at the age of like 25 when my all of a sudden my dad got to be a lot smarter. I realized because, I, you know, you know yeah. everything from the time you're 16. Well, that's the thing. My kids are like, you know, 16. Uh, Lucas is turning 16. Lydia's 18. Oh, wow. Cody's yeah. 20. Joey's 22. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm the dumbest person in the room right now, <laughs> you know. <laughs> We're going to – our Dr. Phil moment is not uh, going to go so well for us here. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I like that. I'm 35, and it just turned on for me. That was <laughs> that was awesome. I guess I made missed that installment of you know. getting it turned on here. Oh, now, uh, let's see. They're no. looking over. The, we must have some. I don't know what they're looking over. They're talking to the home plate umpire. I don't know. If, 
if we move some people around, and maybe Andrew's not going to pitch the, the next inning. What are we, bottom of five? Bottom of five, yeah. And, you know, there's another baseball thing. And maybe, everybody, you know, all these years, the top and the bottom of the inning, right? Mm -hmm. Bottom is always the home team. Right. And um, I wonder how that came about, you know? I'll have to look that up. Now this is young Mr. Miller, right? This is, yes. Our left-handed batter. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, starts in. So we'll move back to the to the top of the order after uh, after Landon. Yep. And it's time for the top of our order to start. Start you know, producing I mean, here. Yeah, we've, they've got to start hitting the ball. And um, Miller tried, I mean, uh, tried to lay down the bunt last time. And uh, Beauty bunt, I think he yeah, missed that sign of yeah. the number three that he probably, Sean, hung, held, held up three fingers saying that third base. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be trouble. Yes, here we go, here right, we go. Extra bases for Miller. Talk about a confidence He's boost go for this two. young man. Good hit. What a hit. Woo. All right. There's what you want to do when you come up down in the game when you got the top of your lineup going. Yeah, exactly. Crank one out like that and uh, it, hopefully jump start something here. Exactly. You know, the one thing I've noticed, though, Ivan, so far this year is the Hazen bench has not been quite as boisterous as it has been in the past. Last couple of years, they were yeah. like the seagulls in the Finding <laughs> yeah, Dory movie. Yeah, yeah. Finding Nemo, one. excuse me. Excuse yeah, Finding yeah, Nemo. yeah. Um, you know, those guys just chatted over there. I don't know if they came out with some new, you know, if the VPA. Yeah. Because the, the guys are chattering over there. Like you said, like birds on a wire and yeah. going to town. It used to be. Uh, now this is Owen, correct? This is Owen. And Who now has 0-2 uh, on the day. Yeah. He's hit the ball sharply, though. Yeah. So this might have just pumped him up. That's trouble. Get back to your bag. Yep. <laughs> Unfortunate so right for Owen, he just to the can't. second baseman. He's making contact. He's just hitting it everywhere they are today. And he's such a good ball player. I mean, McNaughton yeah. up. And Grayson's been stinging the ball. McNaughton, uh, let's see, Grayson singled last time. Yeah. If he'd hit that ball square, and you can what if it to death, but I mean, that gap in right center field, he would have been, mm -hmm. it might have brought us a run. So we still got Miller getting back to second. Yeah. It'd be nice to get on the board. McNaughton up. Andrew's going to bat here in the bottom yeah. of the fifth. Unless we get doubled up somehow. But right. Grayson has been yeah. on fire today. Yeah. Oh, baby. Let me yep. rephrase that. Menard on deck. Yeah. Here we go. Hi. Hi, he says. And this kid's thrown a lot of innings too, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so you know he's up in his pitch count. But but I mean, first inning he threw to four batters. Second yep. inning he threw to third. Third inning he threw to third. Fourth inning he uh, one, two, three, four, five batters. Yep. So we just we've been hitting it yeah. right to them. Oh. So he's you know not exactly one, two, th well, one, two, three on. Yeah. Well, Justin yeah, had so that double. And yeah. I, it, just not the double. McNaughton had yeah. the single. Maybe this kid has enough gas yeah. to go the game. But other than that, he's, uh, you know, been either they've been in the strikeouts or flyouts or. Uh -huh. And then that's hittable. Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, out by a, out by a step. Yep. I'll tell you, it looks like Lydia out there when she was doing gymnastics out there. <laughs> <laughs> the way that first baseman could stretch. Still Clayton Foster at first base? Yeah. Brody? They switched it up. Okay. Yeah. A lot of defensive changes here for the Solons. Oh. They rotate through? Yeah. The Mauler. Andrew Yeah, Wood. yeah. He knows how to swing the wood out there. Andrew. How do you do with hockey? You went playoffs, right? Yeah, yeah, we went. We finished in first place, and then you know, we just slipped in the 
Good eye, Andrew. Slipped in the play downs. You know, I was really hoping to go to the big dance. Yep. Um, Andrew, I got to put a plug in. I know he's my son, but, you know, that kid uh, drove himself to and from practice. I was awfully glad when he got his license all those years. There's a hit. Come on, come on, center come on. He's field. on it. Oh. Play by the center fielder to make the catch. Yeah. He strokes it well, but Andrew put um, a lot of personal effort into that, and I'm going to miss watching him on the ice, so I hope he does some refing in some men's league or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, it's like I told you earlier, you know, when it's going on, you think you think yeah. it's never going to end, and you're driving them to practices, yeah. you're going to games, and like you said, they get their license. I remember when Joey got her license, they're like, oh, thank you. Now <laughs> She can not only drive herself, she can drive all the other kids to practice. <laughs> And you're going to games, and you think, is this ever going to end? Yep. You know, and like they say, it's not the fall. It's a sudden stop. Stop. Yep. And, uh, Yeah, because Joey know. and Lindsay. Yeah. You know, my Lindsay. Played together, yeah. Yeah. Played together. I think it what, what, a year or two difference. A year. I believe so, yeah. When did Lindsay? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now yeah, I'm in I trouble. I, uh, okay. The only way I can remember Joey was 2020 because it was COVID. <sighs> Uh, Lindsay was at college, okay. uh, her second so, year in Champlain, yeah, or Lindsay first year in Champlain, yeah. I think Lindsay was a, a year ahead of her, yeah. Yep. So, so yeah, it's going to be, uh, yeah. but, uh, you know, it's like uh, John Bell events. You know, John comes to pretty much every baseball game. Mm -hmm. He is just a huge supporter of all of our athletic yeah. programs. Um, Some at all the basketball games, too. Yep. You know, he even came over to a few uh, hockey games and, and watched some of the play downs. And, you know, Andrew being a senior. Norm exactly. Rodriguez. Do you? At everything. Every, Norm is always. Yeah. And, um, Chatted with him before the game today. Mm -hmm. He and his wife, Linda, are very active. You yeah. always see them at the Berry Auditorium for the, um, you know, all uh, the big dance down there. I, yeah. My vocabulary or my memory is wrong. Yeah. But, um, yeah. They are there. Yes, they are. All right. Ooh. Beckett Buckley up. Andrew still in? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I tell you what, we got a second. Let's read our sponsors today. The Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day. Breakfast and takeout all day. Check out the daily specials. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Lance Hall with the call. Ivan back here chatting things up as well. Michael on tech. Arthur on camera. You know, Michael and Arthur, th these guys are on it. They are. I mean, I, you know, I didn't know like the, how to, watching the laptop and how much stuff is involved in this lens. Uh, nice I can't pitch. even, I can't even begin to, you know. And I've seen Michael do yeoman's work at, at soccer and basketball games when we would like lose the internet feed or something. And I, and yeah. he's like, his fingers are dancing and you know, all I gotta do is just keep talking. That's the easy part, you oh. know? And, and you know, there was once in one game, we lost the feed, he got it back and you know, he got to synchronize the picture with everything and mm -hmm. Arthur up there getting all the shots. Yeah, they're working. Uh, you know, it, uh, probably, you know, our viewers, I know a lot of their viewers really appreciate it, but and the work behind that. the scenes is something else. The feedback we get Ooh, is, just is, outside. is tremendous, and, mm -hmm. and it just makes you really feel like it's all really worthwhile to come out here. You try, you know, I look at it as, you know, I want to put the athletes over. I want to try and entertain a little bit and mm -hmm. and try and sound semi-intelligent, oh, which I'm real good off. at the first two. Yep. Andrew was is way up in the count here just a two and two and this kid is he's fouled off i think well it's three foul balls at least you know i i believe lance and these michael and arthur can correct me if i'm wrong but the um oh no kind of swatted at that come one. on dano to the gap. That Let was like a, yeah. A, he kind of swat, kind of swat like he was swatting a fly yeah, out. Atlanta there. Brave, yeah. Tomahawk Chop there. He was holding uh, him up at first. Wow. He got a hold of it though. Yeah. So, you know, I'm going, I'm going to dial way back and um, when I was on the select board. Okay. They had started the HGTV, uh, I'm saying that wrong. Um, HCTV, yes. And, um, it was in that little room off of upstairs in the municipal building there. Mm -hmm. And I remember Kurt Boss was one of the, and there was Leaf. Leaf, yeah. Yeah, Leaf was one of the folks, and then Kurt Boss, and um, but what a, 
from what a humble resource. beginnings. Yeah. yeah, humble beginnings and what a resource for, yeah. you know, a lot of folks can't get out and see the game or uh, any of the stuff going on in the community. And Yeah, and as, as yeah. you heard, you know, during the, the soccer and particularly the basketball games, we have people tuning in oh, yeah. from uh, Albert gets on that down. down. Can we turn to double play? No. no. A lot of speed, a lot yeah. of speed down the line on that one, yeah. Plus, they pinched a runner there. Yeah, Alex Garo went in to yeah. uh, to run for uh, yeah. Beckett Buckley. I, I, yeah, I was so busy putting in a plug for. I did. I, I did. I did see that. I was just. I was. I was waiting, but. Yeah. Clayton Foster up. Here in the top of the uh, oh, yeah. sixth. Oh, makes a move. You know, Jake slaps that tag down very well. You know, mm -hmm. he, Jake, Andrew, and Dan are a part of that. The last group of guys group, that yeah, you know, together. Joe Revard brought all the way through. Nice pitch. Bell tip. Up in the strike zone, he he went for it. That that looks like just such a big slice of apple pie coming down <laughs> the pipe. You know. Yes, want to reach out and take a bite. I know, you know, I, I resort I re, re, everything to food. Yeah. You know, but, uh, we'll leave it at that. Oh, hey, uh, there was one game where James Salvis and I raided every pizza place in the Don't general next within that's 20 miles like a of us. I won't say. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Foster. Yeah. And, you know, they say people, they tune in from Florida and all over the place, too. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, Oh, baby. down low. Runner goes to third. Yeah. And I, I, I will, personally, I will never forget this, is we had, uh, it was a girls game here at Hazen against Enosburg, mm -hmm. and Enosburg had an exchange student playing for him that night yep. from Sarajevo. Oh, really? And her parent, and, and they're about either five or six hours ahead of us. There's a oh, That one went through. Hit in, runner's going to score. Yeah. <laughs> It's all right. That's what we want, though. Andrew's probably tiring a little bit. Yeah. I, and I remember them chiming in on, on yep. the chat and, and letting us know and everything. And, you know, we're at, you know, 8 o'clock at night. It's 1, 2 o'clock in the morning over there. Yep. You know, and they stayed up to watch a game. And I thought that was tremendous. I'll never forget it. I'll never yep. forget it. Oh, that's a beauty pitch. Nice throw down a second. Hollingsworth up to bat now. Top of the order. Hollings were so far. Was this? As, uh, he's the top of the order. Did they, the they order. put in some different kids then? Must yeah. Be. Okay. I've got him flying out a couple times here. Oh. Well, that looks like that's passing through the strike zone, but it's low, obviously. As uh, I can't think of what this catcher's first name is. But Miller. Back to the fastball. I missed somebody here, but it'll be all good. Stay down, stay down. Come on, Grayson, good range. Nice throw, little one hopper, that's all right. He went a long ways to get that ball, he too. Did. You know, the, I'm, Tough throw back across. It certainly was, because he was going the other way, so he has to throw across his body and that. So, scored again to make it seven zip. Yep. And we just heard Grayson, uh, you know, say how many outs there are. So, you know, he, nice pitch, throw. A second, runner down, ball, skitters. Yeah. yeah, it's that little, you can't call it a, it's a snap and, or a pop and snap coming up out as a catcher and making that move quick and taking, he's taking that crow hop in there and he's working super hard back there. So it's great, there's a nice pitch there. In for a strike. Yep. Oh and two. See if we can't pick up an out here, another out. Oop. 
Runner at second. Yeah. And what happens with these small little errors that we make, it's a lot of unearned runs that we hit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They've hit the ball sharply, but it's all right. We're doing great. Nice. Fell tip. I think he took a little off that one. I don't know if that was a changeup or a breaking ball, but. Give it a ride. Two and two if I'm seeing that scoreboard correct, and if, and if the scoreboard's correct. I'm seeing one and two, but I you're think you're right, two? Lance. I, I'm seeing one and two, but. Maybe it's one. It, I don't know. It, it looks funny through I'm the. I'm looking on the screen the, on the oh, laptop because okay. of that bar, Lance. Yeah, between the bar and the, and the mesh Chain there. Yet. Oh, just high, just high. <laughs> Didn't chase it. Now they're now, saying two and two. Now we yet. got two and two. One out. Yeah. No four. See if Andrew can get the strikeout. Oh, just outside of that curveball. Because that curveball, you know, it isn't like you aim them, but I mean, you got to pick a target. And it might be the batter's, you know, left front shoulder. You know, it depends on how your your pitch is working that day. That's high. Oh, lost him. Croft walks. Yeah. Well, now we got three places to make it out. Jackson so. Mason. I think we're going to have a little visit. Yeah, here comes Sean to the mound. And, you know, you talk about, we talk about our Crassbury community and, uh, you know, Sean Allen stepping up to continue the program, you know, for Spencer and Joe staying on a year, the other, you know, another year for the program. Yeah. Uh, Sean's looking, you know, at longevity and, Hearing through, I think Andrew is going to get retired from the mound. Jake's going to step in. Right. We got a pitching Andrew. change here. Yeah, very good job, Andrew. Uh huh. Jake has a crazy knuckleball. Um, so now tell me, I don't know a whole lot about our new coach, Sean Allen. Are you cra from Crassbury? Yep, he's a contractor in Crassbury. Yeah. And uh, he's also worked to like revitalize, uh, is it a Little League or Babe Ruth or something? Yeah. Cran Cranberry League or something like that? Well, I, I don't know if Cranberry doesn't sound familiar, but he definitely was a big part of the Little League up there. And okay. He, re he revived. Maybe uh, it was Crassbury Little League then. Yep. And um, he and his older brother um, were big athletes so okay. when Sean said he would do the job um, we were all pretty grateful because Aaron had me on uh, speed dial that whole week to, <laughs> you know it was going to be me and uh, like I said when I played the ball was square mm -hmm. and the game has just changed you know mm -hmm. so but, you know for Sean to make the sacrifices and his kids are very young still I think they're either middle school right now and um, and the kids really like him. You know, he didn't come in like a hammer. You know, he came in and um, he's just got a great personality that the kids love. And look at the guys down there. You got James Montgomery staying, like I said, and T.J. Davison helping. Right. There's just so much baseball knowledge down there. And um, I'm sure Sean, like any good leader, um, has come in and you know observed, and then you make some changes and sure. implement a plan, and hopefully longevity is a part of it. And I think a lot of people don't e either they get it or they don't realize just how much time is involved mm -hmm. when you take on a coaching position like this. You know, yep. the practices, the travel, you know, and and everything that goes in with it. You mm -hmm. know. Uh, it's like the games are almost secondary with everything yeah. you've got to pull together to yeah. make what it is work, you yeah. know. And I know Sean, I think said he's a self-employed contractor up there. And um, and Joe, you know, he has his own business right. here in town. But you're right, Lance. Uh, the sacrifices, he's, there's a bunt, squaring up the bunt. That's a, out of yeah. foul ball. I mean, it's almost another full-time job. Oh, yeah. With everything. Yep. <laughs> but you know we're every community is you know we're yep. fortunate to have those people that the, yeah that step up and take on yeah. the job squares up the squares again. up again infield coming in so Andrew moved to first with Jake going on to pitch yep yep <laughs> 
I want to see if Jake throws that knuckleball, but with the kids squaring up the bunt, I would stay with the fastball. The count, he squares up again. See, so if Jake could just groove one yeah. down, he, you know what I mean? He, right. When he sees that, he's thinking about running in at the same time um, to make that play. But uh, just get the pitch in there, and then let's not lose him here. He's squaring again. Uh, advance the runner anyway. The third, yeah. So runners at the corners. Seven zip your so score. So it's three and three and one. I would assume this the coach is going to send the guy on first. But we'll see if this kid squares the bunt, then he you know could pop it up. This young man, I shouldn't say this kid. I apologize. Oh boy, yeah, going the whole way. So we're going to load the bases now. Ooh. Well, we got him right where we want him. <laughs> now Brody <laughs> Stanton comes up. <laughs> we got four bases to make an out Stanton at Stanton, a here, freshman. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, Ivan, tell me, uh, we'll try and work this in, because, uh, well, you know, I, I want to save a question for you then, a, a sure. legit baseball question. Sure. Um, but we'll, we'll see what happens here with the bases loading us and uh, Brody Stanton up. Mm -hmm. That one's high. That's all right. Now Jake's got, you know, he, he's got that pressure on him with the bases loaded, and he's going from just the, one out. Yeah, he's going from the wind up, so that should make him a little more comfortable. That's a nice pitch right there. He's got Fenton playing deep with this left-handed batter. Dan is very deep. A lot of sun out there, but it's another nice pitch just outside. That's all. My trivia question would be like, every time I have to have a kid named Brody on this team, I think of the movie Patrick Swayze. Oh, foul ball. Patrick Swayze, do you, can, you, can you put it together with a guy named Brody and they were parachuting out of a plane? They were bank robbers. Anybody else? Mm. Swayze? He got me on that one. Yeah, they were all bank robbers, and they wore masks, and they were, ooh, that's uh, out of play back. in back of us. Uh, no, you got me on this They one. dressed up as presidents I was, and went in robbed banks. I was originally going to go with Roadhouse, but no, you know, no. totally got me on oh. this one. They were surfer dudes. Yeah, you and I. <laughs> 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 Point break. Point break. All right. All right. See that? See? You just yeah. My brain turned on at 35. All right. Oh, another foul. Back the again. truth be known, I couldn't think of the movie name, so I was hoping you guys would help Point me out. Point break. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, if I remember, Keanu Reeves was in that movie as well, wasn't yes, he? Yes, he was. Okay. He was the undercover. Right. Yeah. Everybody in, in the surrounding was like, what is this crazy guy <laughs> talking about, Ivan? That's what my wife says. Nice pitch, just tying outside. So we got the count full with the bases full yeah. and one out. Oh. So we're gonna That's walk right. in a run. It's all right, Jake. I'm gonna have to watch that. I was going to say, you're yeah. going to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Brody. The, uh, when the they jump up, Brody, you can't go, man. You can't jump out of the plane. The Swayze know. movie that I was like Only was one parachute. Uh, Black Dog. I don't know that Where one. played the trucker with uh, Rusty Dewey's was in that Really? One. Yes. Well, go jump. Yeah, this is a good person at bat here. Base yeah, is loaded. Base. Hi. It's almost like you want to pitch to him. Yeah. Let him hit it and get the defense to leather it up and make the play, you know, to help your pitcher out and help the, the side, retire the side. Oh, just missed. <laughs> just missed the batter, I mean. Yeah. Here we go, Ted. Oh, got him. That hurt. 
off the ankle. Yeah. <laughs> Another run scores. He's tough. Yeah, the kid's All tough. Right. Ivan, I'll try and I'll try and work this question. Is okay. Andrew, you know, pitched up until you know this inning. Mm -hmm. How tough is it to go from pitching to fielding? You know. Like, I'm going to say this, like these guys are, they're just so flexible, you know, flexible sometimes is too rigid, you got to be fluid and any of these kids, I can remember, you know, a game last year where Andrew, I think he caught, pitched, played third base and he may have played first base a little bit. I think James got hurt mm. and... Um, but I mean, you, you, your mind has to go from Oh yeah. so many different ways that you're playing the ball mm -hmm. you know you're pitch okay you're pitching you know you're involved in just about every play obviously yeah now you've moved over to first where you're kind of you know mm -hmm. anticipation type thing your whole defensive strategy's got to change. Exactly. You know, and, and then like you say, now if he moves, you know, if they move him down into like catcher, if they move out to the outfield, mm -hmm. again, your whole mindset, mental mm -hmm. focus on the game, has to shift. Yeah, it's yeah, got to be tough. Yeah, and I, I agree, Lance. I, I've seen pitching as an offensive position, right? Which mm -hmm. no one would agree with me with on that. But I mean, it was always one on one for me when I pitched. And then you're right, because now that you go to first base now you're thinking like you said defensively what's the play where's the ball going right what's going to be best and now he's over to you know just to use Andrew as an example he's at second base right and now we've got uh, Grayson coming in to throw so he's going from you know am I turning to and where am I cutting off the ball coming in from the outfield you know yeah um, to now I think in ball placement, pitch, pitch count, trying to remember batters, you know, yeah. that mental stat. Like, I remember this kid stood on the plate. Right. You know, that's uh, a really good question. Uh, that's why I, I think you gave the best analogy earlier in the game where it's a chess game out there. And mm -hmm. he, a lot of moving parts, so many moving parts. And when you get moving the moving parts, yep. you know, it. Uh, that's why when I coached, you know what I mean, and every coach would tell you the same thing, like, you know, knowing the pitch count, knowing the outs, you know, it tells you where the, you know, where is the ball going? Mm -hmm. Bases are loaded, one out, ball hit to the infield, right? You know, you want to get the lead runner, one down, do we have the ability to turn two? Right. You know, so your coaching would say, look, we want to get the lead runner. But right now, we just want to get some outs, and we'll take them any way we can get them. Sam Russell, a senior, yeah. up now. We've got who, Justin, pitching now? No, this is Grayson. This is Grayson? Oh, wait a minute. No, you're right. It is Yeah, I thought it was not, if it's I number one. I take my glasses. I have, I yeah, number, I'm sorry. Number one on my roster is Justin. Yep. Okay. So that's, yeah, that's why Andrew went to, to second, second base. Yeah, 100%. I apologize, Lance. No, no. I'd Like I say, it's, trust me, Ivan, you have elevated the broadcast. <laughs> To a level that I would never achieve, you know. I don't think so. I, I, you, I think you have. I think you have. My wife will say I got to, uh, yeah, I'm on it here. I'm going <laughs> to skip the Dr. Phil moment, right? <laughs> here we go, Justin. He's just, what he's got to do is, uh, you'll see he's not falling through, coming across his body. Okay. A little bit, and we'll see if he catches it. He's inherited bases loaded. That's stressful on anybody yeah. walking in. Three and a one out. Oh, baby. That was low. We're going to walk in one more yeah. one. Now, they like say we, we want him to hit the ball so we can leather it up. Up. Alex Garrow up. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll be allowed for the mercy rule. Um, we, get our, we get our at bat. Yeah, we get an at bat. Uh, Garrow up now. Mm -hmm. Came in a pinch run. Oh, inning. just missed Justin. Drive one, Alex. Here you go, Alex. There we go. There we go, Justin. He finds the groove, and that's like I guess you know every game that I come and watch, you know we're improving, mm -hmm. you know. You know I mean, see, we you know. we lost a lot last year with the guys that we lost. We you did. Know. We, you know. Uh, with uh, something in his pocket. Oh. Gloves. 
I don't know. Oh, it is. I, I don't think you can have that because it uh, can do something to the batter. You know, like in the major league fields, they have that where fans don't sit. That's a good pitch, Justin. Very good. What? What? I, I completely missed what was going on he, there. He had a batting glove in his back pocket. Okay. And it flutters and it moves and. Okay. I, I don't think you're allowed to have that as a pitcher. I see. Obstruct. Oh. Behind him. I guess not. It, it but you know, you don't see kids kicking the can down there and throwing their gear. Right, I, you know what I mean? There. Yeah. You got to stay positive. Oh boy, here we go, Justin. We're good, buddy. Three and two. I think Justin's a sophomore, right? Nice pitch. That's a strike. Good, good job, Justin. Let me. Uh, I have a roster. I have a Hazen roster here. Let me keep looking for it. I think you're right. Yeah, he's a sophomore. Yeah. So you know, here's a sophomore stepping in. Bases loaded. One out, he just got a strikeout. So there's a yeah. little shot of adrenaline, right? Definitely a growing pain. Yep. You know, year right now. It is, yep. Lucas Elber up for the Solons. Two outs. <laughs> Base is still loaded. That's a good pitch. Very good pitch. And for a strike. Big gap in center. A little help. Yeah. It's all right. Swinging for the fences on it. Yep. And, and you know that as the innings get longer, you know, you can get complacent out there and. Mm. You know what I mean? You can. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, sometimes our, you know the outfield. You can just lose that edge. Whereas if it's a close game, you're. Yeah, you take a little mental vacation out there. Sometimes you know, you know anybody can. Yeah. Sure. So let's see what happens here. Ooh, Justin threw a. Looked like he threw a changeup. He's way ahead in the count here, so he has a little bit of room to either work on some pitches or just keep grooving them down the middle, you know, and see what happens. Whoops, it's all right. Hi. It's right to three and two now. Two and two. Three and two, yeah. Three and two. I'm still thinking about point break. <laughs> it's one parachute, Brody. Uh-oh. It's all right. It doesn't matter. It's ball four. That's all right. 11 zip now. Yep, we've got a lot of ground to make up here. <laughs> when our, where our bats. <laughs> I'm gonna. I always like you know. I always said uh, I, I'll, I'll fight in a different direction. And, you know, lessons learned and oh, good yeah, pitch, exactly. Justin. Just inside. That was a nice looking pitch. Exactly. <sighs> I had to sneak in a yawn. Hit, uh, just high. Oh, I think so. Did you guys have a game yesterday? No. no. We haven't had a game in what, like a week, right? Yeah, since we, last we, week. Yeah, yeah. yeah, since last week. We started out with it's like a nice pitch, Justin. Four games, you know, bang, 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 and then they played, mm. uh, and then they, I think we've had a week off, yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Chuck Talbert over here from Cavett, his son Will played for Montpelier for years. Talking about you, Chuck. I, uh, being a, a Cavett graduate, Chuck, uh, 
Yeah. He coached me in, uh, I think, in Babe Ruth one year. Or I don't I don't remember, but uh, it was a long, long time ago. Now, did you ever play any Legion ball as well, Ivan? You know, uh, I would have loved to, Lance. Just I, I, I wasn't, uh, you know, that, that I want to say that poor kid from Walden, you know, is, is, I couldn't have got uh, the wheels to, yeah. you know. Uh, Back up to three and two once, once again. There we go. Come two on, minutes. Justin. There it is. Just inside. Just inside. Yep. Walk one more. Make it 12 zip. I think. What do we get? He's. Yeah, he's uh, trying to get all of his guys in that yeah. bat here. That's a good job of coaching right there, you know, knowing that three outs, yeah. 12 runs. Logan Cook, the coach tough. for Montpelier, assisted by Nick Foster. Worked with Nick for a little while while I was with Farrell, and I know Nick's dad, Greg, very well. He's been with Pepsi Cola for oh, really? years, yep. years and years and years. A great guy, great family. Nick, mm -hmm. Nick, uh, head coach of the basketball team. Four straight championships from oh. up here. Wow. Yep. Nice guy. Nice family. Oh, just inside. Now, I met... A gentleman, I think, that took your place, Lance. He came in to do some uh, clean the lines at the at the Legion the other day. I was in there installing stainless steel behind the. Mm -hmm. Oh, just inside, Justin. Yeah, it would have been Mark Elwell. He's from up in uh, Orleans yep. area. Yep. Yep. Lives up uh, right by Willoughby. Yep. Yeah, I trained him. Yep. He said the best advice I gave him was don't go looking for work. Let it come to you. To you, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I boy. Said, Mark, you are going to get all the jobs you want. <laughs> You're going to have places coming. You don't got to go looking for it. Let them call you yeah. first. <laughs> yeah. I wonder, um, we'll see how Justin, if he can get out of this. We have two outs. I don't know who else they would put in to throw right now. Oh, baby. That's all right. Got to work hard. Just got to keep pitching. You know? Yeah. I'm trying to think. It can't be because uh, of the schedule they get coming up. You know, to oh, maybe we are going to make another pitching change. It looks that way. We're just Justin's working hard out there. The whole team is. Is there any baseball in you guys' background? No. Baseball? I used to watch a bunch of minor league as a kid. Uh, yeah. 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 I watched tennis. You watched what? I watched tennis. That's what oh, I tennis. That's, yeah. Love tennis. You wouldn't know it. I look like a dancing bear, but on the, <laughs> I'm uh, quite a tennis player. Yeah, I really? Yeah. Oh, I said that on TV, but uh, you did. You know, we're gonna hold you to it, Ivan. You know, I got three nieces. I call them Charlie's Angels. They All come right. back from Montana, and we always have Wimbledon up on the hill here, and to, oh, and yeah. to beat Uncle nice. Ivan, you know, is a big deal. Uh -huh. <laughs> but lately, they can really take advantage of me. They <laughs> I used to be able to beat the youngest one, but not anymore. Who do we got warming up on the hill here, Lance? I can't well, the only, tell. The only baseball item I can lay claim to is I never I never played baseball. I watched oh, I watched a lot of baseball. Uh, yeah. But my dad, uh, in 1956, was in Yankee Stadium for Don Larson's perfect game. Really? My dad was there. Oh, wow. He... Uh, had gone to school that morning. He was a senior in high school down at Mid Middletown High School. He was living down there. And he said he looked up the hallway, and his dad, my grandfather, was walking down the hallway. And my father's like, uh oh, you know, because usually if your dad goes to, to school, you're in trouble, you know? <laughs> Either you're in trouble or something's going on. Yeah. You know? And uh, he said he walked up to me. He says, "You want to go to the ball game today?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." Uh, <laughs> my grandfather had a, a group of tickets, and one of the guys that, that was going to go down to the group came up sick that day, and couldn't make it. So he said, "Do you mind if I ask Jerry if he wanted to go down?" And the guy said, "Yeah, we got the ticket. Let's go." And of course, back then they played the games in the afternoons. You know, there wasn't nighttime baseball. Yeah. <laughs> so they got down there, and I think they sat over in right, if I remember, right field, because there was a catch that Mickey Mantle made in the game that, that saved a sure hit. Wow. That he made that Mantle ran a mile to catch. Yeah. 
It's one of the, the big catches in, in baseball history. And he said he made it right in front of where they were sitting. But, yeah, my dad was there for Don Larson's perfect game. Wow. So that's kind of crazy, but it would, uh, that's a great story. It would have been even if your dad had met your mom there. At that game. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have, like, goodwill hunting. We've got point break going here. I mean, so how does, how does dad get to Hardwick, Vermont, after going to, to school? Well, he met my mom down there in Connecticut. He was the milkman. Ah. Back then, he did home delivery. <laughs> Actually, she worked in a I diner. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> she worked in a diner. Yeah. Or no, her mother worked in a diner. That oh. He, oh. Whoops. Well, what do we have in pitching? I think it was our catcher. I, I, I don't know the young man's first name, but it's um, the Miller, young Miller. Miller. Landon Miller? Landon, okay. Is it? Let me double check my Yeah, Let and he double. warmed up good. I watched him while we were listening to the Milkman in Geneva meeting at a <laughs> diner. Um, nice pitch, nice pitch. He comes back after hitting his first batter. Keep talking. I'm looking for my uh, thing so I can make sure we, we know who we have. And um, so he comes, he throws a strike for a second pitch, so this is okay. A little high. <laughs> had a lot of hit batters today. Yeah, unfortunately. Young pitching, Ivan, is that what it is? Are they trying to throw Ooh, overthrow stuff? Oh, Andrew just can't get there. Yeah. Two runs. No, he's holding up. Play that third. Come on, cover your base. There we go. Uh, yeah, Andrew just couldn't get to that ball. So now our catcher's throwing. Andrew's that short. Wait a minute, who's on the mound? Is it number four? If it's number four, that's Owen. Oh, maybe Owen. If it's, if it's number four, in. it's Owen. It is Owen. Yeah. I thought Owen. that was our pit, our catcher for some reason. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah number four, that's Owen. Pitch yeah, it, now. now that I see the number, you say that, yeah. <laughs> that's behind us, Lance. Yeah. Um, my mom's mother worked in a diner down in Middletown, Connecticut. Okay. And my mom at the time was working nights at uh, one of the hospitals down there. And dad oh. was out, you know, early delivering milk. And she would end her shift. He would end his route, go in there and eat breakfast. Oh, eat right breakfast up the together. middle. Oh, almost. That's going to score a bunch of runs, maybe one. And uh, that's where they met. And... Uh, the rest is history, you know? Yep. We came to Hardwick when we bought our first store, uh, which is uh, M&M. Uh, oh, really? Down across from the old chicken coop down there. Ah, a little bit of Hardwick history here. Yep. That's when we came to Hardwick. Yep. Oh, now, you were born lovely. and raised in this area, correct? No. No? No. That's right. You came from Mass. Yep. Brockton, Mass. You're not supposed to say that. Out Brockton, there. Mass. No, he, yeah. Home Rock of Marvin Hagler. Rocky Mar man. Yeah, my dad used to take us really? out on Sunday. We'd see Marvin. Really? You saw jogging him? Jogging around, yep. Really? Yeah. Oh. And then. Uh, did you ever meet him, talk to him, or you just saw no, him? No, no, no. But I had some friends that did. And then, uh, of course, Rocky Marciano. Everything was. Right. Rocky Marciano Park, Rocky Marciano Stadium, and um, the high school. It was, yeah. Big city. Nice pitch. Nice pitch. That's right. I remember that now because yeah. uh, your sister Anita was in my class. Yep. Oh. In fact, I, I see her up. Yep. In fact, I see her up at CNC quite often. Yep. That's, That's right. Brockton, Mass. Yeah. Now is it your other sister Lisa? Nice she Nice job. Stay down. Come on, Andrew. Oh. Nowhere to go. Shutter step. Yep. No, is it your yeah. sister Lisa that's in Montana? You mentioned some No, Lisa's? no, my brother-in-law, Kevin, my wife, oh, okay. they, they okay. went out there. Okay. So the Wimbledon match, they're coming out, and I'm, I better start uh, stretching now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Three daughters, and like I, I yeah. coined them Charlie's Angels, and, and their father's name is Kevin. So uh, nice pitch. Nice pitch, Owen. Kevin, Kevin, I'm trying to Kevin remember him. Kevin is the oldest of Arthur and friends. That should be catchable. A lot of sun. Dan back. There Catch. we go. All right, let's get out of the inning. Yeah. Thank goodness. 
17 zip, is that what we've got? Oh boy. You know, that was Fenton. Oh, no, that was Grayson in the left. They was did so many changes. Th changes. Yeah. Uh, Dan was in center because Owen came in, so I see it now, yeah. All right, now. Excuse me. Your, your coach Ainsworth down there. Ainsworth. What do you, uh, Co Allen. Co Co Coach Allen. Allen. Coach yep. Allen, sorry. Yep. Coach Allen. Yep. My apologies to Sean. No, no, no. Both of them. Yeah. <laughs> your Coach Allen down there. What do you say to your team? Well, I'm like that. Uh, you ever seen the, the, the illustration of the frog that's half swallowed by the crane and you got your arm Hang on and in you're there, hanging baby. on and you're choking? Uh, yeah. I'm going to fight in a different direction kind of guy and I motivate him and say, hey, look, you know, we're, we're this is tough. We got to suck it up and drive on. Mm -hmm. And um, that's all we can do, guys. Because at this point, scoreboards are relevant. You're going up there one exactly. pitch, one bat at a time. Yep. Who's, yep. who's going to make a play? Who's going to get a hit? Who's going to steal a base? Who's going to get up there? Who's going to make something happen? Exactly. Yep. And it's just lessons learned and, you know, we'll, um, but, you know, Jake gets up there. In some ways, there's less pressure on a batter this way, too. They can get up there. You know, they got a new pitcher coming in from up here. I think he threw the night we played him down there, lefty. Got some oh, this is, oh, this is Brody, right? Brody Stanton. Yeah. Is it Brody? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep, Brody Stanton. Yeah. Yeah. Coach, Hill, Coach Hill would always say, like, if there's ever a situation like this on the basketball court, they just run new stuff. Yeah. They just, they just practice. They just yeah. yeah. That's what I've seen. Like shake it up a little bit. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know. So, you know, like the pitching, it gives everybody that time. And then as a batter, maybe this is, like you say, maybe this is where you try to push it to opposite field. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Try a different stance. Try a different, you know, placement yep. of your hands on the bat. Sure. Whatever. Sure. You got nothing to lose. Everything to gain. Exactly. And if, like you say, if you can learn something, then you've learned. Mm -hmm. well, somebody who makes a mistake never does nothing. Right. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, true. <laughs> yep. So we're all going to go home and watch Point Break tonight, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or uh, uh, Good Will Hunting's another good movie, too. Uh, it sounded, like, sounded like your parents, you know, when Robin Williams was yeah. saying, you know, he went back yeah. to catch the ball. Yeah. And I wasn't there. What do you mean you weren't there? I, I had a, you and know. if you get the chance, it is obscure, but Black Dog. Patrick Swayze, he plays a trucker. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, great. And like I said, Rusty Deweese has a, a yeah. role in it. Uh, he meets a, he, Rusty meets a fairly fiery end in it. But yeah. uh, never heard of that one. Now you look at J now Jake, uh, this left fielder. Uh, he's stepping back now. You know, Jake has power in that direction. And. Um, Let's see what Jake does. I don't know what's going on. Oh, they're doing it. I don't know what's going on. What's going on, Ivan? You tell me. Well, Sean wasn't over there. I, I don't know. It must be something in the lineup. He must be pushing in some new batters. Okay. But it's Jake, Dan, and then he must have uh, somebody, get somebody else, else in that bat. Okay. But, you know, with these seniors, I'm sure. Right. I don't want to sound like that, but I mean, it's their last season, so he'll probably leave them to hit. Oh, baby. Foul tip. Yep. Nice cut by Jake. <laughs> you know, Lance, by doing this, it saved me a lot of money because they had a table over there. The kids were fundraising. There was brownies and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I bought a water as soon as I got here. So those poor kids, I better go over there and drop like a five or a ten. Help them out a little nice bit. Who's who's yeah. selling over there for what? I, you know, I I didn't see a sign. In it. it could be uh, I don't know what they were. Hmm. The brownies look good though, and so do the cookies. Yeah. So it saved I, my waistline and my belt. Yeah, line. I've never met a brownie oh, I didn't yeah. like. So. Yep. Or a cookie. Yeah. 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 Something, anything, anything chocolate. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you just don't struggle like I do though. Well. <laughs> Jake took a curveball on there. He, the kid threw, this young man threw two curveballs in a row. Let's see what he throws now. Brought the speed. <laughs> Jake's worked at two and two. Let's see what Jake here does. Speed. Huh? Struck him out. Just missing. Not a bad at bat. Yeah. 
Jake's been on there fire. Yeah. Had him for my 18U team last summer, and he just hit the ball consistently. So now, is there still little league in town? Oh, Babe sure. Ruth, any of that? Yeah. Yep. I don't know that we'll have Babe Ruth this year, but. Because she was on deck, that's Gavin. Stratton. And um, there's that curveball again. He's just inside of it. Gavin has consistently hit. He has many RBIs. And uh, and if he gets on, the kid yeah. isn't fast. He's sudden. Yeah. You know? Oh, Dan. Just he's, got, he's got some wheels. I remember watching yeah. him on the soccer field. Yeah. And, you know, he took a huge break from baseball. Mm -hmm. So I was so happy to see him come out, and he's such a great kid. Yeah, he is. Good idea. Gregarious kid, you know. Yep. He's and I shouldn't use kids so much. You know, they're young men, and but they're, you know. We're showing our age. I know. Yep. <laughs> 54 years. It's like when people call me sir now. I'm uh, like, come on. There it is, Dan, yep. Or they ask you for your AARP hardware, right? <laughs> like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, here you go, Dano. There it is. Yep. See the, he's off on the, I guess they just gave it to him. So now Dan's worked at full length, and we'll see if see he what can. what can do here. What's he gonna come with, the heat? There's that curveball inside. Wow. Daniel's going to take his base. <laughs> Gavin. All right. So I, I, Gavin, he's our guy. He's going to – he's had an RBI in every game that Fresh he's been in. Fresh here for yeah. the Cats. <laughs> he had, I, I want to say, like an eight- or ten-year break. In, or not that really? long. But in baseball? Yeah, he went – that speed get down, Dan. Oh, he's out. Oh. Must have been wide. We're going to hear another egregious yeah. call from the, the fans at Montpelier with 17 and 0. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking. <laughs> Hell no. I don't blame you then. Uh, that was a nice throw down there, too. Maybe we'll go back to the instant replay just for the fun of it. <laughs> oh, good cut, Gavin. Good cut. Gavin has a great swing, too. Mm -hmm. If you watch him, you know, he's loaded, he's ready. Oh. That was strike three? Yes, that was strike three. I guess three. I totally missed it with the yeah. play down. Oh, the th yes. Who do we got coming up here? 16. Let me go to the oh. roster here. Oh, we got, and Gregory's on deck, too. Be nice to see Gregory get a bat. I know this young man at the plate, too. I can't think of his name. I'm, I'm looking for my roster. I got, I got too many notes here. Yep. He wants, oh. Oh, he thought about it. He thought about it. Oh, and two are down to. Let's see if this is the payoff for him. He swings. Struck him out. Okay. That'll end the game, correct? That does it. Yep. All right. So wow. Hazen goes down to Montpelier in six innings, 17 zip. Yeah, stick around here for a moment, Ivan. Yes. Uh, you've been watching uh, Hazen Varsity Baseball here on HGTV Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hgtv.us. Our sponsor is The Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day, breakfast and takeout all day. Check out their daily specials. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lst.org, jumpstart your future. Lance Hall with the call. Ivan Renard here for expert commentary, Michael on tech, art on camera. Ivan. You've got an open invitation to come over here anytime, <laughs> anytime, and talk baseball yeah. and chat it up. I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. I've learned more about baseball today. I, I'm going to forget more than I ever knew that I've learned from you today. Well, I made it all up, though. So. <laughs> Which, you call it the way you see it. If you don't see it, yeah. you make it up, right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah. No, uh, this has been uh, absolutely a fun time, yeah. and I hope to do it again uh, Thursday night when we host Thetford. Right. Well, thank you, Lance, and thank you, gentlemen, for allowing me to hang out over here with you guys. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot so of fun. We'll be back Thursday night when the Wildcats will be hosting the Thetford Panthers. Until then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.